Again, these lectures cover the selection of IT project methodology. Our main objective is to explain how projects are selected in some organizations. Investment in information system projects today are evaluated in the context of an entire portfolio of projects. And decision makers look beyond the project costs and also they consider a project's anticipated risks and also returns in relation to other projects. Companies will prioritize their business strategies and then assemble and assess project portfolios on the basis of how they meet those strategic needs. So how a specific project are chosen, first the approval committee has the responsibility to evaluate not only the project costs and also the expected benefits, but they also the technical and organizational risk associated with the projects. Now, ways to characterize a project, we have seven different categories here. One is the size of the project, which is very important. What is the size of the project? How many people are needed to work on the project? This will lead us to the cost of the project. How much would the cost, will it cost the organization? Now, the bigger the project, of course, the higher the cost and also the longer the schedule. Also, the purpose of the project is very important in terms of selecting the project. So what is the purpose of the project? Is it meant to improve technical infrastructure for the organization or support a current business strategy or improve any business operations and also to demonstrate a new innovations? The length of the project is important. How long would the project take before completion? How much time will go by before the value is delivered to the, again, the business? Risk also, we need to consider the risk. How likely is it that the project will succeed or fail? And the scope of the project in order to avoid, avoid the scope creep. So here we see how much of the organization is affected by the system, a department, a division, or the entire corporation and economic value. So how much money does the organization spend to receive a return for the amount the project costs? So we can see that project selection issues also address the feasibility studies, which was we covered in our previous lectures. So we need to do a feasibility analysis on the technical issues, organization issue, issue and also economical issue. Those three feasibility studies cover almost all the categories here. Now the approval committee uses the system request and the feasibility study, which we cover again in the previous lectures. Now project portfolio perspective also is very important. How does the project fit within entire portfolio of projects? the organization have. Also the trade-off needed. Should we select projects to form a balanced project portfolio? Also the viable project may be rejected or deferred due to project portfolio issues. Now with the portfolio management or the project portfolio management, which we refer to as PPM, software will collect and also manage information about all the projects, both ongoing projects or they are waiting approval. Companies also will stay up to date on projects and adapt to the changing conditions. The project prioritization is very important. Employee allocation, real-time project monitoring, flagging the costs, and also the time variances and monitoring the economic feasibility. Now the approval committee also must be selective about where to allocate resources because the organization has limited funds 
And this may involve the trade-offs in which organization must give us something in return for something else in order to keep this portfolio well balanced. So we also think the approval committee must be selective about where to allocate the resources because again, the organization has a limited funds. So this involves trade-off, as we said earlier, in which the organization must give us something in return for something else in order to keep its portfolio well balanced. Now, if there are three potential high payoff projects or yet all have very high risk, then maybe only one part of the project will be selected. Also, there are times when a system at the project level makes good business sense, but it does not at the organization level. So a project may show a very strong economic feasibility and support important business needs for part of the company. However, it is not selected. This could happen for many reasons uh, because there is no money in the budget for another system or the organization is about to go through some kind of change uh, or the project that meet the same business requirement already are underway or the system does not align well with the current or future corporate organization. So this will be the conclusion of our lectures. Again, this lectures focus on project selection process.